All right, with that being said, I wanna move on to gun talk, and today I wanna to make it about accessories. Now, the reason I wanna make it about accessories today is because I wanna talk about something very specific. You know, when we talk about carrying, you always hear, what gun are you gonna carry? What holster are you gonna carry? How many mags, etc." But one topic that often gets neglected is gun belts. What belt are you going to use? Because you can buy the best holster in the world. If you put it on a cheap $3 belt, it's going to be a shitty holster as far as how it performs. You need a good belt. The belt is the foundation of your carry rig. Just like the foundation of your home is so important, if the foundation is bad, the whole house is bad. Same thing with your carry rig. If you don't have a good belt, you don't have a good carry rig. Now, people ask me all the time, well, what do you use? Well, you know, you've seen lots of pictures of me carrying. You see me carrying different guns with different holsters. You know, my favorite 1791 production holsters, my favorite custom holster, Lobo holsters. You always see different holsters and sometimes different guns when you see pictures of me carrying something new, you know, to test it out. But one thing that's a constant in all these pictures is the belt. The belt I always wear is a core track line belt. It's from Core Essentials and it's called a track line belt. Now there's all kinds of belts out there you can buy. There's good leather belts, nylon belts, etc. But I kind of shy away from all leather belts, even if they're top quality. I've bought some top quality leather belts. I have leather belts I paid $150 for and they wear out over time. Even if they're reinforced where the holster is, that's where they usually wear out. They usually start to sag and bend where the holster is. But even if they're reinforced there, then they start to stretch out around the holes. You know, the little holes that the piece goes through to hold them in place, the sizing holes. So I kind of stay away from leather. Uh, I don't mind a leather looking holster, but I would rather it be reinforced all the way through if it's gonna be reinforced, not just where the belt is. Uh, you know, not just where the holster is on the belt. I want it reinforced from end to end. I want another layer sewn in there. And that's why I go with track line because you can get them in nylon and you can get them in leather and you can get them in different colors, but all of them have that reinforcing back sewn on all the way through. So they're very strong. They don't really tend to sag or to distort or anything like that. And another thing great about the track line belts, other than the fact that they're available in different materials and different colors, is that they fit better. With most belts, especially leather belts, you have a hole like every inch. You have like between five and eight holes every inch. So it's not really that versatile as far as the fit. With the track line belts, they have the little notch system on there, a little kind of a ratchet system that gives you 40 different positions uh, with one quarter inch increments. If you look at the belt here, as you see, it just clicks. And then when you want to release it, you just push the little latch on the top and you release it. It's real easy to tighten real easy to loosen. The belt itself is, like I said, very sturdy. If you ask me how long they'll last, well, I can't say exactly because I've had the same belt for a while now. Now, I've got a couple of them I wear occasionally. They all look like brand new, but I have another one that I wear almost every day. I just replaced the belt a week ago after about three years, and the belt was still usable. The belt was something I still could have worn every day, but it was starting to get a little bit of a bend in it where it went through the holster because I'd been carrying it with a holster that required a lot of snaking through. So I said, well, now that I've got a holster that doesn't require that, I'll replace the belt. So I got about three years out of the one I wear almost every day, and it's still in fairly decent shape, still usable. I just chose to upgrade it. So they seem to last a very long time. I have got, I can't say anything bad about how long they last because it cost me about 60 bucks and it lasted me three years and could still last me longer if I wanted it to. And here's a good thing about these belts too. They're totally adjustable. So even if the belt wears out, I can keep the buckle and just get another belt part. They come in a length uh, that's way larger than most people need. I don't remember the exact length it comes in now, but it's in like the 40 something inch range. And then you just cut it down to what size you need, stick it onto the buckle. It's got a couple little screws. It's got a little uh, alligator tooth thing that holds it in place very snugly. So. You can adjust that belt when you first get it to the perfect size for you and then just not worry about it again until you need a new belt, do the same thing over again. So the track line belts are just awesome. And nowadays, uh, one thing I hadn't even been aware of till I looked today is they come in a lot of different buckles now. They got a lot of Western style buckles, they call them. And uh, that cowboy buckle 
paired with the leather belt. That looks awesome. I want to get one of those now. <laughs> In fact, I want several of these buckles. So these belts aren't only sturdy and rugged and versatile. They can be dress belts or duty belts. They're just all around good looking belts with a lot of different accessories, buckle accessories, different uh, variable lengths available in them. So they're very nice belts. Uh, just to me, the best carry belt I've ever found. It's the one I wear every day. Like, you, like I say, in every picture you'll see that belt. Now, the only uh, thing I've had people say before in the past that I had to agree with that was bad is they were only available in 1.5 inch. But the reason I'm talking about them today is because I got a new one recently and it's a 1.75 inch belt. They've started making garrison size belts. Uh, the buckles are more limited for the garrison size belts right now, but still the one I use is just a plain old black buckle. That's my favorite one. So if you want that one and three quarter inch belt size to give you that far more stable hold on that holster, now you can get it. Before, if I wanted that, I had to go to a different uh, belt maker because they didn't have it. But now they have it. So since they now offer that, the garrison size uh, belt, along with every other thing they've already done, like super uh, strong, uh, good looking, versatile, you know, really adjustable, and now available in garrison size also, that's what I recommend to everyone who carries a gun. You can carry whatever gun belt you want, spend as much as you want, but I can tell you right now, in my opinion, for like 60 bucks, you can get the best one out there that I think you'll love and it'll last you for years. That's the Core Essentials Trackline Belt. In my opinion, like I said, they are the best carry belt on the market.